Don Nivaria. I'm a filmmaker from Nigeria. Okay, I started filmmaking in 2011. And actually, that was when I got admission into the National Film Institute. Uh, to be honest, I never wanted to be a filmmaker. <laughs> because I am a science student and my, uh, my future, my ambition was to be a pilot or maybe a, a, a soldier. You understand what? When I, as, as time goes on, as, uh, when, I, when I got admitted into the, the National Film Institute, I found my love for the film and I just, just went along with the film, the production, and gradually, gradually, I thank God for the progress so far. So, and, and I love the profession. Um, I'm an editor first of all, and a, an editor and a producer. My first production was yes, last year, a documentary also. Yes, there was a city and rock inspired this present one. Now I have only two documentaries and I've, been part, I've partaken in two pro, in short films, Fall On and, and Fireflies. So this uh, that is my filmography for now. Rock inspired is a story that talks about the travels African women go through in the hazardous job of road breaking. You know, this Nigeria, some women, what they do for a living is to break rocks and sell. And sometimes they don't sell for a long time. So they still go, they still continue in the job, no matter the, the stress, they still continue. And I want to tell, tell Africans and the world entirely the, their stories. That's why I made a documentary. Yeah, I see it and I want to tell the world. Because actually, some, some, we, have, we have the rich ones, we have the poor ones. And these poor ones, sometimes they don't tell their stories. You know, they, so most times the media report the stories upside down. That's favoring the other side. And I want to just tell the story the way it is, the way I see it. Because I know these women. I live with them and I just want to paint their story to the world. Yeah, it's a social issue and yeah, yeah, it is, it is. It is a social issue. I just let people see them and come to their aid. If not come to their aid and just sympathize with them. Because their story is a pathetic one. For some, they end up in that job and their children also take over from them. And some also, they maybe along the way, God helps them and they just they get, find a better job. But most, most times, they end up suffering. And the, the world don't even know them. Nobody knows them. They don't even get a story anywhere. That's just it. In, the industry actually hasn't changed much, but they, they lead to so far. The industry has, has impacted the social issue in the country and also economically, you understand? Because as a filmmaker, I've learned to tell stories now. Understand? And the industry, what I've discovered in the, in the industry, especially in Nigeria, the industry tells stories that you when you look when you when you watch them you say that yeah this is true this is this is how it is not in the Hollywood where you see science fiction and things we don't like are hard to imagine and hard to believe but in Hollywood especially you hear stories you see stories that you, you understand with them that this is real this is what's happening yeah this is I, okay I, I can okay you might even say okay this happened to somebody I know I didn't follow the stories so I, this is socially it has changed the way we see things and it's impacting economically also the nation the reality is <laughs> to be sincere it's not easy. To be sincere, it's not easy. And it's not easy. And, and first of all, as a filmmaker, especially in Africa, the distribution strategy is very poor. And also, even when you make good films, you find it hard. First of all, you find it hard to make the film, and you also find it hard to distribute the film. So it's discouraging. But because of the love and the passion, and also want to tell something, tell the story. Because when I made this documentary, my, 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 my own mission behind the documentary is to tell a story. And finally, and thank God for so far, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, I, I, people are watching it and they're seeing that they, they see the story in it, you understand? But the reality is, it's not easy. It's just not easy for a filmmaker. And I'm, I, okay, I just started recently, that's 2011. And, but my first film actually was 2013. You understand? Two years, not, not, that's three years back. But with the little experience, I discovered that no matter how it is, no matter how connected you are, you still find it difficult. To move your films. Yeah, first of all, I have a lecturer in school, you understand, who inspires me, you understand. He's, as in, although many people don't like him, but at least he has, he has been helping me. And majorly, major person is my dad, because my dad doesn't know the profession at all. He's not even a filmmaker. But when you watch your film, when you watch the film, I say, oh, was, the, way he, when, the way he comments about the film, the way, the way, and even my younger sisters, they are not filmmakers, but when they talk about the film, you like, I want to do something else, to surprise them and to make them see better production. I want to make another documentary. I, I see stories that haven't been told here. Yeah, most people tell stories with drama, you understand? And yeah, with drama, with sh fictions. But I think documentaries to me are a better way of telling less this is how it is, presenting the way it is. So I want to make more documentaries and better documentaries. The cinema day for Africa 24, men are going to watch them for there.